What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Robbie Sucks. Guess what? It's actually car stuff. I'm so excited. Today, we are working on this 1967 Buick Riviera. What are we doing to it? We're installing the Holly Sniper. Check it out. left is we still have to do the O2 sensor when that's a drill we're just going to do a clamp on we're not going to weld this one got to drop the tank put fuel lines on it and put the fuel pump in and then might be able to start it so right now you're trying to clamp on the O2 sensor yeah what we could do is we could do a we could do a gasket yeah I've got this one mm -hmm. I think with the gasket on there and the clamps, we should be all right, as long as we get a good solid mate. Yeah, I can see it's open right here. See as, as tight as we can get it. Yep. More to come. You got a, a, a top? Yeah. Yeah, there you go. I'd go at the top first. There you go. I got 96 in my bank right now. Yeah. <laughs> You're a funny guy. Yeah, it's hilarious. All right, so we finally got those clamps on, the O2 sensors in. Martin right now is routing the cable up. Away from the exhaust. Away from the, ew, <laughs> away from the exhaust. And the terrible oil leaks that this car has. Yeah, I mean, there's, there's some oil leaks there. But uh, once we get that plugged in, we'll move on to the next step. Yeah, and it is older than all of us, so. We got Rich actually trying to do some work here instead of talking crap. Hey man, well, I drink beer. Tell you all how to do things. <laughs> oh, yeah. is, that, is that how that works? Yeah. What are you What are you doing right now, Rich? What do you got in your hand? Oh, you know, holding a little plug. You just holding a plug? Just holding a plug. Wow. So it doesn't yeah. fall back down yeah. to the ground. Well, there's a first for everything. I know. All right, we're taking bets. Right there. That this is gonna fit in there. Let me know in the comments if uh, it works or not. What do you think, Rich? It's fitting. Okay. Maybe. <laughs> That's a whole lot of maybes. Guess what? We're going to find out. I like our odds. May the odds be ever in your favor. <laughs> uh, yeah, we may be uh, SOL on this one. Yeah, That's I don't think it's going to fit. That's a thick boy. Let's find out, though. Okay. Oh, she burping. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Oh, God, us a squirter. Do it again. No. <laughs> Would you just look at it? Would you just look at it? We're going to need it. So, guys, this is a temp sensor for the Sniper EFI. We have to Dang have this. Dang it. Yeah, we're going to need a bung. So, we're going <laughs> to go to the store. <laughs> we're going to go to the store and get an adapter for this. And that's disheartening. Uh, so, who was right and who was wrong? We all said maybe. We all maybe. Yeah. yeah so we're 50-50. Yeah, we do. That's all right. <laughs> we do. This happens. Yep. It sucks. But hey, just don't give up. That's right. All right. Check back in. All right. So we went to the store. We got the new bung. We've got the new sensor, uh, temp sensor installed onto the intake manifold here, as you guys can see it. And we're going to... Oh, be gentle. Oh my gosh. Okay, so now we're installed and we are just one step closer. How do you feel, Ethan? 
No one cares. Rich? Martin? I ain't got a beer. <laughs> Shame. So, we gotta pull the gas tank in order to hook up the lines. The funny thing is, is the gas tank actually wraps around the tire well for the spare tire. So, if you look under here, this portion right here is a gas tank. This is where the spare tire is. Pretty crazy. <laughs> okay, this is spinning. We need a. Uh oh. Yeah. Uh oh. Just, uh, is there a Healy coil on the inside? No, it's just uh, like a carriage bolt. Okay. Okay. That is hot. Yes, it is. They're not that kind of hot. Uh, I think we're good, dude. Yeah. I think we're good. Hi there, Mill. Oh, come on. Hey, look at that. I got it out. Ow. Wait. Oh, you know what? We need to take off real quick. What are we going to take off? Our pants. Our pants? Mmm. <laughs> what? Party time. And how does this come out? Well, I guess that's part of the tank. I can't tell. I can't yeah, see anything it's, in it. It's it's solid. So when we drop, have to it, drop, when drop it the tank, you're gonna yeah. have to drop it at an angle. Yeah, it'll come down this way. Okay. All right. So we installed the fuel filter and the new fuel pump underneath the car. I'll show that here in a second. Now we are cutting the new fuel line to go to the Holly Sniper. This was actually a job that was a little more monotonous and tedious than I would like to admit. Yeah. Unfortunately, I was under the car too long to film it. But I'm going to tell you right now, you drop the fuel tank, you install the sending unit, you put the new lines on, and then you install a filter and the new fuel pump. I will show you the fuel pump after this video. But it was a pain in the butt. For sure. Now we're cutting new lines to go to the sniper. Yeah. EFIs. So much fun. Alright, so as promised, here's me showing what I had him install. I've got the, the new fuel pump with the inline fuel filter coming off the new fuel line all the way back. I'll, we'll trim up the, uh, the zip ties here. We've got the new ground. Uh, we did the ground to the fuel tank right there. Basically, uh, this whole project has been not too tedious, but more time consuming than I thought it was going to be. Other than that, pretty clean setup. Alright, so we got everything connected here. Going to the, the sniper unit. Now we're going to do the ring terminals onto the battery to connect the positive, And hopefully we can get this thing fired up tonight. Yeah, we still need to find this pink wire. Pink wire is supposed to go to a key on and hot. Well, it needs to stay hot whether we turn it on or on, you know, crank yep. it. It yep. needs to stay hot the whole time. Okay, we gotta find a hot lead. That's that should be easy. That should be on the fuse box on the inside. Yeah. Look at that expert wire cutting. 